Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video, and today we're going to be checking out the brand new NECA toys straight from their Mirage Comics line. This is the Color Classics colorway variant of the Shredder, Battle Damaged. Very cool looking, and a very poignant piece of TMNT lore, I will say, the Artwork is stupendous, of course, all over the place by Kevin Eastman. And on the back side, you got some photos of said figure. Very cool, along with To Be Continued and some new characters are coming out. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure, so thank you very much for that. And here's the barcode. They are starting to hit Target store shelves now as they're part of the Summer Target Freak Out Geek Out events, right? So... In normal color, even though most Ninja Turtles start off as black and white, Shredder is in red. They have offered this figure before, San Diego Comic-Con, way back when. Now they're utilizing the color classic. So they get a few more colorways out of these figures. But I gotta tell you, it's very cool to have this version of the Shredder as his last minutes on Earth, basically, before the whole cloning thing but uh, yeah donatello throws a bow staff into his face he goes over and a thermite bomb goes boom but of course before it does we're gonna sit back we're gonna relax we're gonna grab ourselves a nice hot cup of coffee this to look at the brand new eastman and laird's teenage mutant ninja turtles straight from the mirage comics line the shredder battle damaged by neca toys and while I got all you Aroku Sakis here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my TMNT videos. There's going to be a lot coming, so stay tuned. But in the meantime, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. I really like the way that this figure looks. That's pretty cool. But before we get to that, here's everything out of the packaging. He does come with a lot of different accessories, all very much acclimated to the shredder which hey we always appreciate that right it's nice to have accessories that make sense in terms of characters like a whole bunch of hands which are painted nicely I especially love the fisted hands they just have a nice chunk of that heavy graphic black to it but they're all painted very cool along with the busted gauntlets of the shredder and that's the proof to splinter that they defeated the shredder that's what they bring back so very cool in that sense and the fact that if you got the prior release mirage ninja turtles or as coming soon, the Lawson, Jim Lawson, TMNT 4-pack. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of fun with these. And it's just really painted well. I totally dig that as an accessory. You also get the Thermite Bomb. It's got a nice little color to it. little cell shading, shading kind of thing. You get the idea. But the Shredder holds it nicely. And it just looks good. Again, it's very important to the whole story of that first issue of Ninja Turtles before he goes over the edge. Then you have this unhelmeted head for the shredder he's all beat up it's when the turtles start to really utilize their weapons you don't see that all too often right but yeah they absolutely wreck the shredder one head portrait i would have loved would have been this right here just to kind of have a broken mask i think that would have been kind of cool but to have this again the last few seconds of the shredder before he gets really desperate pulls out the thermite grenade that looks awesome Totally dig that. And again, they nailed the blood. It's not too heavy. Also right here on the peg, you'll notice it's starting to chip a little bit. At least it's on the bottom side of the peg. That is something we've run into with NECA toys before, but it doesn't hinder the actual figure. Now, you will face the Shredder, and the Shredder looks pretty darn good. Again, having this blue color instead of the red, it's a little something different. It is fun. I would have preferred the red, but the blue does look good. I won't discredit him at all on that. Plus, the heavy-handed graphic black amidst the red and the blue and the silver and everything else, it really pops. This is a really gorgeous-looking piece of artwork in terms of an action figure, and they don't go over-handed with the black. It all makes sense, and it's really done well. It very much looks like Kevin Eastman's art from the very first issue brought to life. They nailed it, and they usually do with all the Mirage comics figures that they unveil. It really does look awesome. The helmet with all the black, you got the white and the eyes, the very blacked out helmet right there. That's cool. Now, you do get a little bit of extra articulation in the head at the top where the helmet is, and then towards the neck 
where you swap out the head and such. So you kind of get a double twofer sort of deal, and you get a nice little bit of momentum out of it. So that's nice to see. Now with the arms, I would say at most heat the arms up. I think that's the only problem I ran into. It's sort of the typical NECA problems that you see in terms of articulation. So you don't want to break anything. Don't force anything. He has bicep. He does have double jointed elbows. I will say though, his gauntlets right there where the crease of the elbow is will hinder it. So you won't get the full range of motion, but he does have it. He also swivels at the hands and whatnot. My hands are kind of sort of frozen with the joint. So again, be careful with that. The waist is totally cool. There's nothing in terms of an ab crunch, unfortunately, but he will kick out. No problems there, no hindrances. He's got double jointed knees, which totally work. He also has gauntlet boot rotation, right? This one, a little bit stuck. Heat this guy up, I'm just gonna tell you. He's got toe, he's got the foot, no pun intended. But it all works once you get it going. But as I always say with NECA toys and moving them around, be very careful at first. In terms of his scalature, I would say that he matches up pretty well. From Turtle to Mutated Rat, hey, I think that's an excellent size for the Shredder. Again, the blacks, the blues, everything works for this different colorway variant of the Shredder. And as you can clearly see with his clones that came along later with the whole Space Worms thing, I'm not even joking. Uh, if you want to know more about that, watch my clone video. But that would be the color that he should have, that red. Also, you can put him with this Casey Jones as well. They totally go together, so you can kick the shredder out a window. But I will tell you this over and over. The Mirage line of the NECA toys is a lot of fun. It's characters and figures I've always wanted to see done proper. And that is one thing NECA really nails over and over their Ninja Turtle line. That's the way to do it. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new NECA toys, the battle damaged shredder from the Mirage comics line. And just keep in mind, you can grab this now at Target. It won't be an exclusive. It'll be a first to market. So if you're out and about and looking for them, well, hopefully you can catch them, but just be patient. They will go up online and do all that grace. You'll be able to find it. If you can't find it now, just give it some time. Don't run out and immediately grab this. Just take your time. I can't stress that enough. No stress, geek out. That's what they should call it. But you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Mirage Comics. And of course, I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember... I love the way this shredder looks. For me, I'm keeping him like this. Unhelmeted, got the thermite grenade. He's going over the side of that building with style. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.